Give me a justice real quick. Yeah, that looking good. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. To be honest, the beginning was really clickbaity. Only the first two folders really have to do with my maths and physics studies from start to end. Nine semesters in total, okay? But the new semester is about to start and I thought, why not give you, the new first years, some studying advice for your upcoming long-term adventure. So here goes. And for this video, I decided to finally partner up with Skillshare and trust me, this decision wasn't an easy one to make for me. I had their offer lying around in my inbox for months on end now and I always declined their offer because, I don't know, I wasn't really sure how to implement their product into one of my videos up until this day. This time around, I actually saw this as an opportunity because you can go onto Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of courses. And there you can take a look at, for example, studying advice. You can take a look at math courses or even if you just want to know how to bake properly. Cake? <laughs> Do you also want to learn how to bake? So, so good like Papa. S Skillshare has you covered on this one. Okay, so their principle is basically pretty easy to grasp. So what you do, you get yourself a premium membership, be it annual or a monthly one. And then you have access to all the courses there. It's not like with other websites where you, well, pay for each and every course individually. And that's a real great plus for me. So. I can say after trying out their service on my own, it's a really great website. They offer such a great service. And if you want to try this out, if this really piqued your interest, make sure to take a look at the link in the description. There you can get yourself a two months free premium membership trial. And maybe it's something for you. You can support the channel this way. Now I attack my tower right here, the, the tower of knowledge. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to support the channel. Now for the main video, onto the couch. If you are curious, those are like nine kilograms, okay? Just in regards to the, um, to the first part of the video and the clickbaity title. This right here doesn't really have to do anything with university. It's just my uh, personal notes folder, okay? Um, it's just everything I did mathematical wise in the last eight semesters or so. Um, on my own. This is the math for fun, boy. This right here is the ugh, serious math boy, okay? Eight semesters of studying mathematics. And it's not too much, to be honest. And half of this folder right here um, con consists of stuff that has to do with my bachelor's thesis. And also the, the other half is <laughs> basically just um, preparing for the classes I teach in, okay? Preparing the homework and shit. So, um, if I just take a look at the stuff that we have done in university, my collective stuff, it, it, it would be something like this right here, okay? The, this half. Um, it's like one kilogram of paper overall. And this right here is my physics folder. Some some background information in a second. And yeah, it's, it's the bachelor's and master's of physics for me. It's just this one folder. So um, I'm not one to write out too much stuff. And maybe some background information here. I'm just a regular everyday normal guy, okay? So I fucked up school big time back then. Then I became a baker and then I did a Fahabi too. It's like a lower degree than the highest degree you can normally get in normal case. And then I started university. In normal case I wanted to study something different, something that has to do with Japan or food, okay, food sciences, but but then I thought in the last week, well, maths and physics sounds fun and I thought of myself as kind of a smart guy, at least a little bit, and yeah, it, it really sounded like fun. And here comes the first tip in, okay? When I started university back then, like four years ago, it kind of hit me in the face. So, so when I did this Fahabi tour, I never tried to learn anything. So, so I was sitting in class, playing around with paper whatsoever, didn't really listen to class, but, but still I finished with, with kind of the best grade you can get, okay? I finished with one or two 
something like this and the best one you can get is 1.0 as a create and yeah so uh, I never did anything and it was so easy for me and then I got into university and the thing is if you do the fuck up and you fuck up school in before you don't have any prerequisite knowledge of anything you do and if you don't listen to the stuff in the fuck up then you even have less knowledge and I, I went into university and I barely knew how to add fractions together, I barely knew how to integrate polynomials, I didn't know how to differentiate stuff, okay? And <laughs> it's just funny if I think about it now. And well, I didn't even know that the sine cosine were a function, I only knew them as a ratio of sides in a triangle and what the fuck is an exponential function? Don't ask me. So I never heard of this stuff before and when it came to physics, oh boy, I I only knew like, um, is it Newton's second law? See even after the ends of my studies, I I don't even know <laughs> which law is, is which one. So um, force equals mass times acceleration. And then there was the first X in time, okay? And then we had linear algebra and I fucked this up two times just because I didn't learn anything from the past. I, I didn't learn anything for those axioms and yeah, there was the consequence. I fucked linear entropy up two times. And also I fucked experimental physics one up two times, okay? It's just something you get. But even then, do not get discouraged. That's the first thing I want to give you on your way, okay? Even if you fail something, even if it all feels kind of overwhelming, do not give up. Try to do it. Just try to get through all your studies right here. It's easier said than done, I know, and many people get discouraged so easily. So when we first started university, we were like 200 people trying to study physics and like 120 people trying to study mathematics. And at the moment, from this first semester, only like 12 to 15 people are left now studying math and physics now. Okay, so it's, it's, it's crazy. Nearly no one is is with me now these days most people have left over the course of all those years and that's something you shouldn't do if you feel like this is something that's that's not for you like studying maths and, and physics or whatsoever isn't something that you like that you do not particularly enjoy anymore then then that's fine but do not give up after failing one exam that's not something you should do try to go through this whole process. Failure is a good thing. If you fail, you know you have to do more the, the next time around, okay? So if you fuck something up, try it again. You can do it, you can do it. Papa approved statement right here, okay? This brings us right to the next tip and this brings a little smug facial expression right here to my little daddy face, okay? So, so thinking back to the first week or something, it, it wasn't even time for university yet. It was like a preparation a preparation week and back then no one knew each other okay it it comes natural many different people go there to university and no one knows each other at first days okay and we were all standing there in a circle and no one really talked to each other L like i said it's kind of understandable and well then there was this one guy herr golling pascal and <laughs> We are friends up until this day and people ask us regularly if we are twins. It's it's just fucking stupid. I don't even think that we look alike too much, okay? Yeah, and never mind. Um, I'm pretty much of an yeah, really open guy and I walk to people and I talk to people, okay? And, and I just walk to Pascal and yeah, starting from this day, we were doing homework together. He got me through my experimental physics stuff because I suck at that and writing protocols and stuff like this it's just something I do not enjoy I I hate it I I hate it so much doing experimental physics never mind so we were doing all those homeworks to all this homework together and also we were preparing for all those axioms and here comes the second and for me most important tip in Find yourself someone that does the homework for you, okay? 
find an idiot who does the homework for you and then you are pretty much done with everything. No. To be serious, find yourself some friends. They are really important. If you have friends, you can study with them together. It makes your life so much more pleasant at university. It's not something that... That... Yeah, I don't know. It's... It's just something you should consider. Don't try to go through this whole university life on your own. It's it's just not fun. Get yourself someone, find yourself a, a loved one and just try to get through it together. Get through all those studies together. Do your homework together. Do something together when you are not at, at university. Go to, escape a, a, to an escape game, for example, or something like this. Just try to yeah, find someone that you really enjoy spending your time with. And then it's going to be a really pleasant ex experience. Studying in university can be a really pleasant experience. And if you have someone that you like, it's even more of a pleasant experience. It's a really nice thing to do. And one more cool thing is, if you have someone that you can prepare for exams with, then you can try to explain all those concepts to this person and you can change roles so he's the teacher you're the pupil and 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 whatsoever and with this technique you can basically learn way better so i for myself learn all of those concepts way better if i teach it to someone so this is just a little secret tip right here from the papa try to explain everything to your friends maybe it works for you too maybe it's something that you should consider and maybe it makes learning for you easier Next up is something that comes hand in hand with the tip before. Do your fucking homework, mate! Y you have to do it, it's mandatory, so, so without homework you won't get accepted to the exams. Okay, that, that's something you definitely should do. But also, they're there for a reason. I do not enjoy doing homework, it's annoying. But if you do your homework, it's like a really nice preparation for all of those exams. So, just try to stay up to date with all your homework, okay? Don't try to procrastinate, it's, it's easier said than, the, than done, I know. But if you stay up to date with the homework you have to do, you are pretty much well pre prepared for your exams, okay? Um, I can tell you this much out of experience. It's, it's just something. Just try to stay at the ball, <laughs> am Ball bleiben, like we would say here in Germany, okay? Now here comes something that I did wrong in the past, okay? Only try to sign up for as many courses as you, as you feel comfortable with, okay? So I don't know how it is in other parts of the world, but here in Germany, if you feel like it, you can do all courses that you would normally do in eight semesters in like one semester. I mean, if you can finish all the exams, then that's totally fine. And I did this before. So last semester, my first semester of the masters, I did nearly everything I have to do in like four semesters. And I was quite um, nerve wracking because I had YouTube also and I was working part time and I was having a job in, in the university, stuff like this. So with like four jobs and full time, even more than full time university work, um, it can get quite stressing. And if you are not used to all of this and you are in the first semester, then it can become even more stressing, okay? you can be stressed out quite easily. And I have seen many people getting pretty depressed over university. So, so let's not do this. If you sign up for courses and you're in the first semester, just try to do like three or four courses. That's totally enough. And with this, you can already see if studying this topic is something for you. So. If you already notice in like two modules that mathematics isn't something that you particularly enjoy anymore, then well, that's, that's good. You didn't spend too much time on all those courses. So that's something to take into consideration if you ask me. Here are the last two tips which come in hand in hand once again, kind of. So the first one is try to understand. If you study maths, for example, it 
really doesn't help to just think you understood the proofs and stuff like this. You should really try to understand everything and just take everything the professor says for granted that it's like, right, the, the professor says it, so it has to be right. Always try to be a little critic right here, okay? A little Burger King critic. You have to see if the big tasty bacon, isn't that McDonald's? I don't care. Is really a big, a big tasty bacon, okay? So bite into it, feel it, understand the big tasty bacon, okay? And it's the same for studying maths. So try to understand everything and then you are going to see a lot of connections to other parts of mathematics. And if you understand, for example, analysis, then it's really easy to understand, for example, linear algebra and elementary geometry and for example, differential geometry. So all of those go hand in hand a bit. And if you try to understand from the start what all of this is about, then you are well settled for doing all the other courses that you have to do in your university life, one after another. So starting from the first day, you should try to understand each and everything. And last but not least, try to find something that you really enjoy for yourself, that you would even spend your spare time on. For me, it's doing integrals. For other people, it's something different, doing philosophy in their free time. I mean, if you really enjoy that, then that's fine. You should find something that you really enjoy. If you do not like to spend your free time with the things you are going to study for the next years and that you want to do as a job in the later years, then it's probably something that's not for you. I see way too many people who do not enjoy doing physics or mathematics in their free time. When they leave university, they just forget everything. They don't want to deal with this stuff anymore. And that's something I find really stupid. Those people want to become maths and, and physics teachers. And once they leave university, it's just over for them. They do not in enjoy the stuff. They just do it because they are doing it at the moment. If you do not enjoy what you are doing at the moment, you should stop. Stop it right now. Okay, it's time to stop. Do something different. Study something different. But if you find something that really interests you, that really piques your interest, then you should keep studying it. Mathematics is something that's really enjoyable for me and that's why I'm going to keep doing mathematical stuff. It's just something I really, really enjoy. And this for me, personally, it's a really good sign that this is going to be something for me. It's, it's going to be a future for me. It's going to be a job later in the day for me, okay? So, I hope you were able to get something out for you, okay? Out of those whole tips right here. I'm, I'm just an old 25 year old person telling you something through the internet. But maybe some of the stuff helps you and maybe I can make some more videos on stuff like this, like, like motivational stuff. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and recommend channel if you like. If you want, you can send me emails. If there's something that's on your mind, send me an email to pi equals three at papaflemmy.engineer. If I have the time, I would like to reply to you. And that's one of the reasons I made this video right here because first semester is about to start and I'm getting messages each and every day. And people ask me, well, I'm not that good at mathematics. Should I start doing mathematics? I enjoy doing it in my free time. And yes, if you do enjoy it, then do it, try it out. And if you then notice it's not something that you particularly enjoy anymore, then you can stop, okay? It's, it's okay, but, but first try it out, first try it out. And if you also have something on your mind, shoot me an email, I try to reply to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, like my channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those teachers I created whatsoever. And don't forget to check out Skillshare. It really helps the channel out, okay? And up until the next video, have a flamble day. See ya! Yeah.
Danke. This is a cake, mate. You can stop filming now, Lisa. Cake? <laughs> well, do you also want to learn how to bake? So, so good like Papa. <laughs>